Okay then, so, I know this is weird, because uh, this is probably going to be a strange episode. But we've decided we are going to get the tools that I want for this character. So a few things you're going to need to make sure that you have before we start this. I know that we've done all of this in the walkthrough already, but I'm sure there's going to be someone somewhere that will be happy that we just went through everything. First up, you are going to want to make sure that you have the ability to make poison arrows. We've got this from the uh, merchant. Where is it? But poison arrows. Here we go. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 3. This comes from uh, the merchant that's actually very close to where we are right now, just over here. So if you need that, go ahead and pick that up. You're also going to need a bow of pretty much any description. Range shouldn't matter because we're going to be pretty close to the target we're going to be shooting. But we are going to be poisoning it. So to create those arrows, you are going to need to have um, enemy's bones and poison blossom. Again, range shouldn't be too much of an issue. If I'm wrong, you guys are going to see it here right now. And I'll have to rectify the mistake in a bit. That should be fine. Uh, that gives us 60. Realistically speaking, you want to have a full stack. So you probably want to go ahead and grab some extra beast bones and some, some poison blossom. If, like me, you need some extra poison blossom, the easiest place to get more is going to be to go back to the waypoint ruins. Because from here, we can just head on up the stairs, use our uh, glintstone arc here. And we can quite easily farm these. As well as the big one. The big one drops, uh, I think, f uh, it definitely drops five the first time. Uh, I don't know if it drops five every time. Oh, we can even summon um, Lutl here, that's crazy. Haha. <laughs> it's quite hilarious. Yeah, yeah, you do that. This is going to be easy fight anyway. Here, five pores and blues. Lovely. Okay, that tops us off for poison arrows. Now, of course, if you want to carry like a mega amount, you could go ahead and do these as well. Get yourself some flat pinions. I haven't really put a farming position for these into the walkthrough yet because we haven't really been past the one I like to use. Um, but there we have it. Maximum poison arrows. We're obviously going to want to have our bow on. Now, the next tool that I recommend that we get for this is the Arrows Sting Talisman. I didn't actually pick this up when we went past it earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and show the location of that now. So the next thing we want to do is head on up the tower. This is going to give us Arrows Sting. This is going to make it so that bows just do naturally more damage. Um, and being as the idea is going to be that we're going to hit um, an enemy with, but with arrows, it's just going to be uh, useful. Obviously the enemies here could be pretty tough. I should really... Need to be quick. We need to be quick, quick, quick. There it is right there. It's right in that chest. Oh my gosh. You're not going to let me have it, are you? Hey. You're not going to let me have it, are you? You're going to let me have it? Yeah, we got it. I don't even care about those runes. Haha. <laughs> I got what I wanted. So, those runes, they're a fair sacrifice. So now we have extra bow damage as a talisman. In addition to this, if you have the stones, it's going to be a good idea to upgrade the bow that you're using. So, here I am back at the smith. I'm going to use my skull runes, some smithing stones. Just upgrade this a little bit. And with all of that done then, we are pretty much prepared to do what I want to do. So we're going to go back to Lenny's Rise over here. We're going to do something rather cheeky. Now, because we are a caster, we do have some advantages here. Is it night time? It is not. Okay. Um, first things first. What I should probably do is create a full stack of normal arrows. And I don't have normal arrows, so I didn't get the recipe for that, never mind. Uh, 
you're probably going to want to make it so that your uh, flasks are... Oops. We don't have three. No. Uh, you're going to want to make it so that your flasks are all blue. This enemy shouldn't be able to get to us unless it has been patched. There is a chance this has changed. A lot of things seem to be reacting differently to how I remember them during my, the actual initial walkthrough we did. So if this is different, you guys are about to see it. And now we see we have Mr. Big Pants over there. Now there is a slight shame in doing this now, and that is that we haven't been to get the golden scarab. This guy's going to drop like 80,000 runes. And so he's a pretty good candidate for getting 20% extra runes out of Limith Horse. We just want to come all the way across to the branch. And now we can just shoot the guy. All right? Realistically speaking, we just want to... Oh, he's going to need to get a bit closer. Let me just wait. And so, here we are. You'll see that he stops at us, right? Um, and now we're just going to go ahead and start pouting arrows into him. As best we can. It's worth noting that apparently the uh, short bow that I'm using has such terrible range um, that I needed to actually put the uh, arrow's reach talisman on. Now, there is a little bit of timing involved with this, so just bear that in mind. Um, because he does like to change direction a lot. Um, but we can definitely poison this guy. And what I found is if you can get him just as he turns, so when he does his little turn like that, often you should be able to hit him. Oh no, I'm getting it wrong. They've changed that a little bit. Come here, come here. So it's after the turn. He stops looking. Yeah, so just after the turn. Just after the turn. And as you can see, he basically can't get us up here. So we're going to get the poison on him. Oh, I did it wrong there. Let me just uh, skip to getting poison on him. There we are. As we can see, he now has damage burden up. Now, unfortunately, poison itself is not enough to, uh, to finish the job. This is just going to make sure that we are getting decent damage over time as we do uh, whatever other damage it is we want to do to him. Um, and so now, whenever he stops, we're going to send rocks after him. That is going to hopefully finish the fight where we'll be skipping forward to. Okay, it means we're on hit away, we'll, we'll cut back in. Um, this guy's taking almost everything that I have. I failed to get him to poison on my last set of arrows, unfortunately. So he's only had two bouts of poison. So it has taken a fair amount of spells to get him to where he is now. They'll probably one-shot me, so it's really not worth me trying to go down there to uh, to use the rapier. Now, there is one thing you can do. That is, if you just don't do anything, he will eventually de-aggro. I'm just going to see if we can get it to happen now. And he'll just start walking back to his original place. Um, and you can kind of get a free spell cast on him then. We've only really got to get one hit on him here, though. And then uh, we'll be pretty much done. Is uh able to scan your hits still, so you just got to be careful about that. Come on you, S stay still, I've got to get one hit on you. People want to see your uh, your demise. There we go. So, it'll take a bit of effort. Uh, I was a bit off on the runes, 42,000 but still. So a bit of a boost there. That's not really what we're here for. What we're here for is that Bloodhound step that we just got. Uh, that is going to be worth every ounce of pain that you're going to feel like you just had. I'm actually going to put this one on because we're going to go for a sprint now. So that's one part of the puzzle that I wanted to get. Uh, that's going to give me about wow, four levels. Okay. Well, being to this four stats that I'm concentrating on, let's uh, be nice and spread about that. So the next place that we want to go is real, real far. So hopefully you guys can keep up with me. We're going to go back to the Leonia Lakeshore. And I guess along the way, we might as well collect some map fragments. Um, so I'll meet you guys there. And in addition, uh, we're going to equip the Bloodhound Step. Technically, this is going to take off our... Um, our magic scaling from the weapon. But we really aren't using this for damage. In fact, this is kind of the reason I wanted to make sure we had a good sidearm. So now, when we press our Ash of War, we have this rather long 
distance movement, which is really good for creating distance. Two of those and you'll often be able to get a cast off against most enemies, so that's going to be like just mega. Next up then, we're going to be heading pretty much directly north. We're going to get ourselves another map fragment. Um, it won't reveal as much as you'd like it to. Leonia has, I think, three, maybe four map fragments to it. Um, and they kind of, whoa, a bit weirdly. Oh, I didn't change my, uh, my flasks. I'm going to regret that. Let's grab this quickly. Oh, no, I'm going to die now. I wasn't expecting to take that much damage. <laughs> I have really made this character hugely fragile. And the next um, point of reference we're going to want to use is the castle you can kind of see just above there. You'll be, you'd be able to see it better if you went out into this water, but we really don't want to do that because there are a bunch of um, like buried lobster out there, kind of of the giant variety, and they'll shoot water jets at us. And it'll feel like you've just been hit by a freaking laser. So we're just avoiding that. We're going towards this, look. We probably want to turn north pretty soon. There should be like a, a village or town that sprawls out the eastern end of it. And that's what we're looking for. We're probably pretty close to it by now, I would have thought. This place always feels massive. I, I love the Lakes of Leonia. It's so good. It's got such a diverse kind of amount of different kind of areas and layouts and stuff. We've got the lake kind of swampy area that we're in now. And there's this village just here. There's upper grass areas and it's just real cool. But yeah, here's the village we're looking for. And you can see the grace that we want. Look. Whoa! <gasps> I've run into one of them. That's not good. That's not good. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't think we can even dodge it. You know what we could do? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> blood hand step. I dodged it. And that's why we like blood hand step. <laughs> that was like cheating. You shouldn't have that right now, but we do. <laughs> okay, so that's the next map fragment. Uh, next up, then we're gonna head for. Do we want the next map fragment? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we're gonna go past it. So we'll grab the next map fragment, which is kind of like here-ish. Um, basically want to go out the northern end of the village. And you know what? Beans are going past it. Let's grab this seed. This is real like... Um, this is going to be like kind of massive sequence breaking. Sequence breaking in regards to like, you know, the, they intend for us to go a certain way and we are going to go really not the certain way. Just because there's stuff I want and this build needs that stuff right now because I just need it. Um, enemies around here are probably going to be a bit hard for me, so we'll try to avoid most of them. So I'll have this golden seed, which you can see on the map. It's kind of just northwest. We're going to head out the northern end here so that we can then continue west so we can get the next map fragment. And then we really, really, really need to face one enemy now. Which shouldn't be too bad. It'll definitely be easier than the... Uh, maybe easier is the wrong word. It'll definitely have less health than the Knight's Cavalry. And we've actually already faced um, a version of it already. It's called, It's one of the Demi-Human Queens, which is where we've got the Demi-Human Queen staff. Oh! I didn't know there were two Death Birds around here. Done something new every day. So you really don't want to fight that. Make sure it's daytime before you come out here. That will be uh, very unpleasant, to say the least. So we're going to keep coming over this way. Are we close? Where am I? Nope, still miles away. <laughs> I just saw the, the shore and I was like, hey, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Just keep on going. Northwest, just keep going. That's Testu's Rise. We could clear that, but we really don't need it right now. Um, we are close to getting Carrion Greatsword. That would be useful. You know what? If we're going to get ourselves set up, we might as well. Um, if we get enough time, if we can do this in under 25 minutes, we're going to get a cool spell as well while we're at it, because the boss should take us to 10,000 runes from where I am right now. And that'll allow us to get a new, fairly useful spell. 
Um, it's not necessarily essential. And there will be an improved version later on. But this one will be will be very useful, so we might as well grab it. So I want to head over to this shore here, so it looks like I got my uh, map marker almost exactly correct. And we're looking for a grace. It's not going to be this bit. No, we want to go further, further south, a bit further south. I was a little bit off. Just a tad. Just a tad off, sir. Just a tad. I'm just going to come down to the south. Was that a terror relief? No. Okay, just checking, just checking. Not terror relief other place, but most of them you can only harvest once. So just make sure you get them whenever you see them. Not like War of the Worlds red leaf in the middle of the green. Yes. Wow, my point mark was almost on point, not literally exactly where the map fragment was. In terms of direction, it wasn't on the actual spot, but it was the right direction. Yes. <laughs> right. Just going to tag this. We're not really going to use it. Uh, although I am going to change my flasks, because having eight, <laughs> eight blue flasks is a little bit much. Um, all right, flasks. Uh, okay, flasks. Here we go. Let's go with that, because that's the rule. How many seeds do we have? Two. The good thing is... We shouldn't go as far as I'm thinking about in my head. We could get loads of seeds where we're going. We could get loads. When I say loads, I mean... One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We could get seven seeds. Oh, this video would be too long, though. We've got a long way to go. We'll see how we're looking. <laughs> seven seeds seems too much. Like, if we go into Stormvale with two extra flasks on top of what we've got now, which will be... What, nine? I think that's just going to be silly. But then again, I suppose that's what you want. But the, the issue with that is you don't get used to managing your healing very well. Um, so we're going to have a seed up here. And then we're going to go up the deck to the left. There's a seed ahead of us. Might as well tag this, uh, this grace. It's one of those weird ones where... Other than, I guess, a fast travel point, I don't see too much use for it. There's not too much need. Not really anything here. The, uh, the lift we're going to have. And something I should have said as well at the beginning of the video. If you aren't following the, uh, the walkthrough and you haven't got the Dectus Medallion, both halves you're about to face a barrier because we're going to use the medallion to get to an area that you wouldn't otherwise get to. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, the Demi-Human Queen is as easy as I remember. <laughs> otherwise, in, in any case, Lutl's going to carry us through that fight anyway. Lutl, if Lutl can survive ulcerate tree spirit in the, in the fringe folk, hero's grave, we're good. There's technically a grace over here. Which we should probably use, to be honest. Because we will want to clear this mine later. Just out of, you know, completionism's sake. It's not actually essential. I'll try not to loot too much of the stuff here, though, other than the golden seed. Just so it's nice and complete for later on when we actually do a video on it. There's no way I'm going to do this in under 20 minutes. Is there? Even with uh, speeding up the Knight's Cavalry. So, as you come back from this area, what we see is that there will be a path on the left. That's where we want to go. Path on the left. Careful of these Knights. They can cast spells. And hurt a lot. Be careful of that. There's going to be a merchant up here. We're going to leave him alone for now. I'm just after the talisman that I want. Now, there's only one thing that I 100% know that going to where we're going to is going to trigger. And that is that the castle in Kaled 
we'll have some portals activated. We're gonna tag this. Oh, we can get a thingy while we're here as well. Heh! <laughs> Sacred deer. To just kind of... Kind of explain what I was just talking about, but... So this castle here, an event will activate here once we rest at any grace in the next part of where we're about to go to. Um, this is called the Radon's Festival. The good thing is, this means that the portal at the front of the bridge here will activate, meaning we can skip all of this straight to the cool boss fight. And I like doing it that way. So I'm doing it on purpose, really. Which actually makes me end up doing all of Altus before we do Radon, by the way. So we will be up here um, sooner than you might think. So now we're just going to head pretty much straight east. We want to head from the church almost directly towards this big um, cliff here um, and even loop under this for good measure. And you really don't want to head north at all until you've hit this side. The reason for that is there are catapults over here that are, in my opinion anyway, stupidly accurate. They should not be as accurate as they are <laughs> as catapults go. Um, and they're just going to give you my time. I didn't realise we could probably drop down there and do the rest of the way. Hmm. Let's just have a look from the top, see what um, see what else is blocking our way there. And we can summon here now, which is also interesting. I don't remember that being a thing. Now, usually I just come all the way around here like this. Um, and you can kind of see all of this other stuff. I think maybe we could have gone, on, gone off that left side. I'm going to stick with what I know then. So we're going to come down here, we're going to now hug the left. Yeah, hug the left. Just be careful here. There's a tower. Looks a lot like the Eye of Sauron, and if it starts lighting up, it's going to hurt us a lot. So just, just stick to pretty much that exact route there. See, so yeah, if we had have come down that side, look, that catapult there would have still shot at us. So just, yep, yeah, I like this way that we went. It's fine. This video is going to be 30 minutes long. I'm so sorry. I really try to keep these videos small. This game is so big and there's so much to do. We've uncovered a lot though. We've got all the map fragments for Leonia. So now you guys can see that. You can tag this so you got this to fast travel back to. We're going up the uh, lift here. It's going to be as simple as lift medallion. So we can go up to the top. And once we're up here, we can begin progressing through here. Um, so, there's a grace just over to the left on the rocks. And the item that I'm here for is also this way. And being as this video is long enough, we're going to prioritise this. And what I might do is, next episode, we'll go ahead and we'll pick up a load of good stuff. Because being as we've broken this far now, we might as well pick up all of the goodies that we can now. Which is going to be a lot of seeds. And what else can I think of that we can just pick up? We can get some extra secret tiers. We don't need to fight any enemies here, so we're just going to go ahead around the side. All we need to do is reach a set of steps, and then we can drop straight down for the boss fight. And again, a good idea here is being as we aggroed those, it's going to be to quit out and reset them. And so this enemy is going to drop us a talisman that increases our damage by 10% while we're at full health. Which, as far as I'm aware, is the only way we can get increased spell damage from a talisman slot before Rhea Lucaria Academy. And even the one we get in there is only going to be 4%, so this is pretty strong. What I've got to hope for is that I can get Lootle out before it one-shots me. Which it looks like we have succeeded in. It looks like Lutl is actually capable of soloing it. When I said Lutl could carry us through a lot of the game, you guys will be uh, seeing what we mean now, right? Even in areas of the game where we shouldn't be right now, Lutl is uh, showing some real metal. That's good. My, uh, my bubble protects me good there. Oh man, no, we're being grabbed. That's going to be bad. Okay, that's a reset. Round two. Okay, it's a round two. Interesting that it didn't really want to aggro my summon. The good thing is, there's a Shrine of America right outside, so as long as you collect your runes, 
Um, you should actually be fine. And do you know what I wasn't doing? I completely forgot we actually had the ability to completely evade its damage. I just need to make sure my FP doesn't run out. As you can see, if it grabs me or anything like this, we're in, uh, we're in for some trouble. Let's get out of here. Quick. Oh, now you're actually going to do something to him. Yes, there we go. Right, I'm just going to fire some volleys in here. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. I've got to find space on FP here. Attract its attention, damn it. There we go. We win. Two tries isn't too bad. I don't think so. Cool. That's exactly what we wanted. In we go. And now we have the new talisman. 10% damage achieved. Most of the time. There we go. Boom. So as long as we're growing red, we are cooking with gas, baby. Okay, so while we have 10,000 runes and have a few minutes left, let's go and get carrying greatsword from there. It's going to require, require us to reach number three. Okay. I know it's all a bit weird. It's all a bit crazy. I'm sorry we're going all over the place, but it's going to be worth it. This spell is also going to be worth it because it's going to be a rather nice, um, more of a close combat-ish spell that we can use when we're in trouble. We could also probably get carrying slicer if we want to, which is a faster, faster one. So we actually have a fairly strong melee attack, but I don't know how much I want that. I really want to avoid melee as much as possible. But the carrying greatsword has fairly good range and it's pretty good for like kind of doing AoE damage around oneself. We should probably have a look at what our damage looks like now that we've got that there. It should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much there. I suppose might as well take this grease. You have no idea how hard it is for me to pass by that glowing skull. I know 200 drones is just nothing, but the amount of times just picking those up as I'm riding around has helped me out. Is uh, it's a lot. Right, so now I'm just gonna basically carry this up, carry it up, carry it up. I don't want to get stopped by no wolves. Keep on going up the road. Be careful of these, as we cast some nasty fire spells. I think we're quite close to a quite a good incantation called Flame Cleanse Me. And it is usable by us as long as we use just a couple of um a couple of different talismans and stuff. It's actually a trick I end up using later. Um so yeah, we're just gonna go past this. There's the church at the top of the hill. Should be. Almost there, yeah, just gotta follow the road basically. But damn it, there's a tank thing. One of my least favorite things. I thought that was the church, it's not. That's the tower. Oh, that's where Terra Magica is, that's why. Ha ha ha. It's the tall tower. In the academy. Fine, just keep on moving up. Keep moving up. We're all good. There's the church. I knew it was the church, just. Yeah. Church isn't as tall as I thought it might be. Be careful about coming here at night. A bell-bearing enemy can come, and that will probably wreck you at this stage of the game. So just bear that in mind before you go in. If it's night time and you don't see the turtle, that means he's coming. Come to me. I want your spells. We're not listening to you. Come here. I'm here to purchase your goodies. Yes, come here. In which case... Yes. Carrion Greek Sword. Also Magically Blade. Cool. I don't really like it. I don't know if NPCs dodge it or not. It could be good for that. So it's like a delayed one. So it's like Fire and Pebble, except for it hangs in the air for a second before it fires off. But we definitely wanted the glint, um, the, glint the Carrion Greatsword. So now we have... 
that. We should probably put it on. Right. Into flasks. Yes. We got enough for that. Is the amount that replenishes? Yes. Is there a C is there a tier here? I can't remember if there is. I don't think there is. No, this is where you can use the um Celestial Dune. So if you accidentally like hit an NPC, so let's say you wanna um stop the merchants from being angry at you, you can use a celestial dew here. I don't think we have one right now. And that'll kind of make them less angry at you. There are some instances in the game where it will like bring people back to life, but I feel like that's a glitch, so I don't recommend doing that, if I'm honest. Uh, so we got the Ash of War on, Memorized Spell, yes. Carrion Greatsword. Oh, we don't have enough yet. 24 int required. What do I have? 22. Hmm, I guess that's my next target then. I can't use it right now, that's a shame. Either way, we just gained 10% damage. Let's just kill something before we, uh, before we finish out. So, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's send some glintstone arcs down. Um, this is probably going to wreck these, to be honest. Um, yes. So it's a bit kind of high uh, high risk slash high maintenance because it means if your health goes down for any reason, you're going to lose a um, portion of your damage. So you just need to bear that in mind. Um, and maybe select accordingly. There are such items like warming stones and stuff like this, which we're going to get later on, which will kind of feed into uh, protecting our ability to get um, that damage boost back. But for now, we just kind of need to need to look after ourselves and use the Bloodhound step that we've just got to our advantage. Um, hopefully, this hasn't been too difficult to follow. Um, most of it has been pretty easy, apart from maybe the Demi-Human Queen. The, uh, the Knight's Cavalry can take a bit of time, but realistically speaking, it just should not be able to touch you at all. So, a um, bit of patience and that should work. And then, yeah, we are now set for fairly strong mage, which is good. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. I think because we've already sequence broke now, maybe we'll go and clean up this area and grab a load of seeds. Even if I think that's too much. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do the Death Through Catacomb and head into, into Stormvale. We should be more than ready for Stormvale at this point. Realistically speaking. We can go and try it. Maybe we'll do Stormvale. I don't know yet. I'll uh, I'll have a think about it and I'll uh, well continue with you guys soon.